Business and design is a human-centered perspective, um, quite close to the traditional design in its approach, but more connected to, to organizational problems and challenges that we have today. In a more traditional meaning, um, design is pretty much of problem solving and uh, methods and method kits and tools and uh, connected to an innovation process. It's pretty much the same, but we are working with more social aspects of design rather than products, etc. That's the, the, the starting point how business and design has been developed. And uh, the context of that is depending on the huge and rapid change in, in uh, society um, about di digital revolution and, and automation, etc. And the effect of that. So therefore it's um, even more than important to have a more human-centered perspective. Uh, and I think business and design um, are grabbing that in a broader meaning. Uh, rather than the traditional meaning, obviously. One of the most important parts of being a business and designer is to be open for collaboration. And um, the collaboration is, of course, in uh, the learning and development processes, but it's also in partnership. So uh, what we always train in this program, for example, is that the student must collaborate, uh, but uh, exactly what they are going to do in the future. We work a lot with different companies that are uh, collaborating with Sharp projects, for example, Volvo, SCA, or RICE, for example. RICE is a uh, Swedish research institute. Uh, so RICE stands for Research Institutes of Sweden, and it's a uh, it's a type of organization that uh, works sort of in between uh, universities and academia and society and business to, to uh, transfer knowledge from academia to, to business and society to achieve innovation and change. So within RISE, one foundation for innovation is the type of work we do in laboratories and, and in testing grounds to develop and test, for example, new technologies could be the, in the automotive sector and new types of materials and so on. So that's more, how do you say, fundamental research that is important to innovation. But we also have other parts of the organization where we work more directly with innovation processes, where we try to come up with new solutions together with partners, for example, from business. And we do that uh, in uh, uh, RISE Innovation Lab, we do service innovation, we do innovation work in city development and so on. So that is spread out and in some parts we also use design methods to, to achieve that. RISE cooperate with business designers because some of the projects we have are so complex, for example in service development in cities, that we need new types of methods coming from design and connected to for example, business modeling uh, to achieve a good result. And that's what business designers help us with. This is a service development project based on a norm critical analysis of the waste management system in an area in Brås. This project is based on a co-design process where the different stakeholders are involved. It's the city of Borås, the residents, the housing company, the energy and waste company, University of Borås and Rice Research Institute of Sweden. Uh, so through working closely together with the different stakeholders, we have come up with a service concept that tackles the, the problems within the waste management system of Borås. In the face of creating the business model, we got support from business designers from University of Gothenburg. The business designers identified a need in the project group to ident identify the different stakeholders' interests and come back to the common vision of the project. Therefore, they developed a board game to map up the different stakeholders' interests and, and goals with this. In 
our work as business designers, we usually tap into unknown and sometimes uncomfortable situations. Therefore, every member of the team needs to be open-minded, curious, collaborative and ready to get their assumptions to be challenged. One of our main tasks in the beginning of every project is to establish relationships between the team members that is built on trust and empathy. Especially as we are working in interdisciplinary teams coming from different countries like Germany, Italy and Finland, but also different fields like design, IT or business. With these different backgrounds, we have of course different competencies, but also different perspectives and different worldviews. This allows us to really dig deeper into our tasks, to study them from many different angles and find out unexpected solutions. We see that by collaborating and continuously challenging each other, we can really create something meaningful. So the space our team is collaborating in must be able to handle new ways of working. Having a dedicated physical space where we can get together and see progress really helps us to do better work. So we basically immerse ourselves in a work environment by putting up sketches, notes or photos. And by working in this visual way, it really makes it easier for us to grasp the whole project, but also to draw connections or get new perspectives. When we capture every decision and put it on the wall, we don't really have to wonder if everyone is on the same page. The room is the page. So the more we put on the walls, the more shared understanding we build. Maybe you're asking yourself if that's the perfect formula for being creative. Well, it doesn't really look that work that way. Everything that happens in our creative space is kind of the sense of our work. But some stuff just has to happen outside of the studio. We usually refill our creative tanks by experiencing life. This could mean going to a museum, to a really nice concert, or even doing our favorite crafts. This then ultimately creates a library of experiences in our heads that we then can translate into our work. Have you ever had one of these moments in which you think about a past conversation and go like, aha, so this is what he meant. When this happens, you unconsciously empathize with somebody. Uh, in our work, it's very important to look for these moments consciously by empathizing with them. And this is something that we call having an insight. This means that often we do as much as we can to live uh, the same experiences that the people are facing by, for example, spending time with them or uh, doing the same kind of activities or listening without judging. When you walk in other people's shoes, you allow yourself to see problems from a different perspective. And many, many times this leads to an insight. Something that tells you, this is the real problem here and not what I thought before. Having these kind of moments also allows you to come up with better ideas. Actually, one of the best ways to make sure that the solutions are based on people's problems is to co-create with them. This is something that we do very often with clients like RISE through workshops and uh, the result is that uh, the solutions are resonate much more deeply with the audience because they are human-centered. Reframing problems based on uh, human insights enables us to design services and products people uh, really need and experimentation plays a big part in this. Um, it, it helps us to explore new ways of tackling complex problems through asking the right questions and supporting people to find answers to those questions. And um, it emphasizes coming up with bold ideas in a fast-paced manner and actually testing them out in the field together with uh, users and other stakeholders. And uh, iteration is the nature of our process. And that's what we basically did in our design sprint for RISE. We reframed the problem from safe and clean to belonging and empowerment and came up with ideas around the redefined problem, which ended up in a systems-oriented and integrated service concept. Um, and the outcome was the first prototype of uh, the business model based on the new service. And all in just uh, one day. And it was uh, quite intense, but that's why they call it Design Sprint, I guess. When we find an approach to a challenge or a problem, we prototype fast to instantly learn from the results. 
And the prototype can be as simple as a storyboard, for example, a poster, or even a roleplay. And it supports us then in finding new ways of generating and gaining useful knowledge. And uh, I think a curious, creative and quite dynamic mindset helps us then uh, to quickly learn by just doing. And this allows us then to change and improve the prototype immediately, which is a strong way of creating tangible and successful solutions for the client. And for RISE we created a board game that helped different stakeholders to better understand uh, their and also the other's role in the enterprise. And through actually placing their interests on the table and building a physical business model in form of a tower with even different floors, they were then able to start creating a common vision. So in a playful way the stakeholders now understood that they are an important part of the social enterprise. And besides, for the very first time, they clearly communicated their interests to each other. Um, and through that, we also then further could develop and adapt this knowledge uh, to our business model. One impact that is very, how should I say, clear is that the way you work within this office with visual visualizations and materializations together uh, in the war room creates, uh, I think, inspiration to, to the rest of the office to, to work in more creative ways. So that is something we can lean back on in the future when we want to develop our way of working. And in the project, uh, how the way you map out different stakeholders and make it more clear what different needs are uh, in the business model, that is something we can directly use in the project. So that is a great uh, contribution. And overall, um, that you come to this office and bring, uh, as a group, your creativity and the way you work together uh, inspires us to, 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 I think, in this office where we often sit alone uh, working, to work in a more creative way together. I think you inspire us to do that.